everyone, I'm Kelly Hydebrader and this is Lenaway. So buckle up because we're going to whisk you away and take you around our county to check out all of the outstanding things our kids are experiencing. And our first stop is at the LASD Center for Sustainable Future Campus, and that's out on Tipton Highway. Tecumseh students got a chance to spend a few days there and really get their hands into their schoolwork. We're giving a tour to all of the 8th graders in Tecumseh School District, teaching them about some of the facets of the agri-science programs, I'm mainly focused on sustainability and environmental issues. My students in horticulture are showing the students how to take cuttings and grow green roof, which is a benefit to the environment because of the exchange of oxygen, carbon dioxide, the cooling of the air, and it looks great. What I have seen today has been many of ways that you can help the environment and help have a better life for the earth. The most fun part for me would be able to see how to build the environment house so kids can learn how to, how ways they can help with the environment and keep it safe. We try to teach our students the sustainability, how to use resources. You know, the word sustainability has been kicked around an awful lot. Um, I think that these students need to know an alternative way to grow, to harvest. Um, and I think that this gives them a little sense of, of ownership in their environment. When we come back, we're going to Britain Deerfield High School where they are throwing out the brushes and painting with these. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play, or even what you wear. You just need to be there. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. Hi, I'm Mike Rowe. 14 years ago, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, this year, she celebrated her 50th wedding anniversary. Is that why you've taken off your jeans? No, I've taken off my jeans to prove the link between jeans and the fight against breast cancer. Well, that's interesting. Do I have to take off my jeans? No, nobody has to take off their jeans, Mom. But everybody has to go to DenimDay.com right now. I'll explain everything. Dress code optional. Apparently. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Learn more at DenimDay.com. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. Kids always love finger painting. It really lets them get creative. And as they get older, they still want to paint with their hands. The art teacher in Britain Deerfield schools tossed out their brushes for a few days and let the kids create some amazing work with their fingerprints. In art, we uh, have black and white pictures, and we're using black ink to, I guess, paint these pictures, but we're only using the dark values and light values. So the more ink you have on your finger, the darker it's going to be. The less ink you have on your finger, the lighter it's going to be. It's all fingerprints. I definitely think that this art is interesting, just because it's like not a paintbrush, because I personally don't like painting, but I enjoy doing this, because I get to finger paint. I thoroughly enjoy it, just because it's a lot of like what you would want to do. It's like you get your assignment, but then you could do it the way that you want to, I guess. I took art classes, or this art class, just because I enjoy art in general, just because I get my ideas across and what I want to do. You know, it's kind of, I get to express myself and what I want to do. Nice, you can even try that next time the kids are bored around the house. Well, let's head back to the LASD Tech Center. 
Did you know we have students that are learning how to be certified nurses assistants while they're in high school? They can graduate and go right into a career in this program. So we had our cameras rolling to see just what they do every day. The class is designed for students who are interested in nursing or medicine. So I do have some students who are not, not going into nursing, but they're interested in the hands-on skills. The students come in and they are um, exposed to medical terminology, which is a college course that's embedded within nursing prep. Then we have um, exposure to anatomy and physiology. They will also have a certified nursing assistance certification when they leave this class. I was in the EMT class last year, got a good grasp of things, and um, I just thought like nursing would be cool just to see if I was interested in it, and it just really like has helped me figure out my career path and where I want to go. This year I had like a different approach, knowing that I, where I was going to go to college, and like I'd already kind of set my career path up. So like being in this class was different because I was kind of like shaping what I was learning around what I wanted to go into rather than just learning something. I just love seeing, like I said, the light bulb come on and seeing them find that confidence, find that bedside confidence that they feel comfortable with the patient and they feel like, okay, I really can do this. Those are some pretty bright kids right there. Some students, like Brady, take this class because they want to go into the medical field, and it's a good way to get their feet wet before they head to college. It also looks really good on their college application. More exciting things are ahead, and we are building robots right after this. This new dad is picturing a tree house in the sky, but, but he's ignoring, ignoring the instructions. instructions. Good luck. Big guy. His kids know that he's building without a clue. Never been so good with nails and glue. Now we're trapped inside a box. I hope mom knows what to do. Oh, mom. See, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Connor is struggling in school. Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. Why don't you understand me? I do. This is what it feels like for kids with learning and attention issues. Redirecting to understood.org. You're doing great. Let's just, we're gonna try this again, okay? Okay. Wheels, pedals, handlebar, brakes. Sit up straight, keep your weight in the center, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the grips, button to see. If we feel ourselves falling, what do we do? Just, just keep, keep pedaling. Good girl. Now remember, it's all about balance and steering. Steer with your hands, steer with your body. Steer into the corners and you stay out of trouble. And the bell's your buddy, so go ahead and ding that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Pedal, honey, pedal. <laughs> go, you're a bike rider. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. The odds of becoming a successful NASCAR driver, one in 125 billion. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, one in 68. I'm Jamie McMurray. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Many of our schools are incorporating basic electronics and engineering in their classrooms, and the kids love it. Let's peek into Addison schools where they're building robots. My name is Kaylin, and we're here with the Coding and Robotics Club. Eddie, can you tell us about the Robotics Club? The Robotics Club is um, you get these robots and then you can program in them. You can make color patterns with them and they can like change they can change directions and go faster. Kayla, can you tell us a little bit about Scratch? Scratch is a program we use to code. Um, it's a drag and drop um, with blocks. You drag the block you want and attach it to the other blocks of your program. And then when you hit the um, green flag, your um, character will do what you asked it to. You can do more than one character and a new program for every character. Hopefully the program will get bigger and bigger. It, and these kids, are, these two, being in both programs, can take it even further. 
So it's a start, and with the new STEM out there and technology is in their future, uh, we, we want to take it and have fun with it. That's our goal right now is to just have fun. They're learning so much in that program, and guess what? It doesn't stop there. We take a few steps further here when the kids come to the Tech Center. We have a few classes that collaborate on building a robot that can go through a tough obstacle course, and they challenge other tech schools like ours all across the state. We have to introduce you to the robotics and engineering kids and computer kids that came together from other classes here at the Tech Center. They can't wait to tell you about the robot they built for their state competition. Beside us we have the robot that we designed over a six week period. Um, it is obviously track driven, has a rotisserate, er, rotisserating uh, basket to shoot the ball in the uh, first stronghold competition. Uh, we have a goal that's approximately like seven foot in the air and we have to shoot the ball up into that or we can shoot it below it. Um, then we have an arm on it that we can use for opening doors and stuff like that and assisting other teams. My part was mainly the design and manufacturing of the parts. Uh, I did a lot of CNC and manual machining. I was basically the main guy on the electrical part. I did have some input on the design of it and the assembly part. And during the competition I was part of the pit team which was uh, diagnosing any problems that it had between matches and trying to fix them in the short time between each competition. I made, I CNC these. Uh, the two side plates. Uh, I programmed like most of the holes for the back plate. We we're on a team. Um, it's not it's not just me. It's not just Brendan. It's everybody here helped a little bit. I feel really accomplished what we did. I mean, even though we didn't exactly win the qualifying rounds, we still ended up being uh, going to the final competitions and actually made a lot of friends with a bunch of the other teams. I'll tell you what, we could have spent a couple of hours with those kids talking about just that project. And that is the magic of programs like this here at the Tech Center. Kids are able to get their hands on the equipment and find what they're passionate about. And while they're discovering new things, they're learning so many life lessons. I think those kids will remember this experience for the rest of their lives. Well, that's our show. Thanks for sharing time with us. If you see something amazing going on right here in Lenaway, we want to know about it. Just send us an email at lasdtv at lasd.us. I'm your host, Kelly Heidbreeder. Make it a great day, Lenaway. <laughs>